Hello? Yeah? Hello. Sorry. <laughs> I'm about to shout. Good. Yeah, I'll just do a brief introduction and you can get into it. Okay. Um, if you're all ready, we'll get on with the, uh, the third presentation of this session. And it's uh, Mario Shibella, who's uh, here to talk to you today about uh, visualization of Australian, Aust Australian, Austrian open government data. And I, I will uh, leave you to it. Thank you. Um, so I'm going to talk about the project we are working on at the Fach uh, uh, Salzburg University of Applied Science, which is in Austria. Um, it's a project that's also funded by uh, Austrian um, Internet Foundation. And um, it deals with uh, open government data. So in 2012, um, some authorities in Austria started to publish data sets. Um, this is a picture of the city of Linz, who was the first city in Austria who published data, government data. Right now, um, they published 127 um, data sets. This is in Vienna. Vienna was the second city. Um, at the moment, they published around 182 uh, data sets. So in Austria, all data sets that have a Creative Commons license um, and deal with demographic or uh, government data are collected in this web service called um, Data GV80. Um, it's based on CCAN. And as you see, um, there are cities, there are um, federal states, then there are also um, national um, um, organizations and also communities who share uh, data to the public. Um, there are 20 different uh, publishers, which uh, makes the, the dealing with the data difficult. Um, here you can see the, the authorities that publish the most data sets, which is Vienna uh, and Linz. Then there's a small community also in uh, Upper Austria. And then there is the federal state of low, uh, Upper Austria and also cities and so on. Um, we have six cities that publish data. We have um, six of nine federal states at the moment that publish data, um, including Vienna, which is at the same time a federal state and a city. Uh, there are two communities and there are seven national organizations like um, the uh, publishing financial data or uh, stuff like that. So uh, when this happened in 2012 in the summer, um, I came up with this project idea to visualize all the data on a map. Um, I wrote a small proposal for a grant that's um, funded by Internet uh, Foundation of Austria. And the project started in January. Uh, we have three people working on it which is me, a colleague of mine, and a student. Actually, we have two students working on it. And the plan was to visualize open government data. And uh, my personal intention was <laughs> to go with, with the visualizations to all the uh, authorities and tell them, hey, look, uh, this is um, population data everyone else published, but you did not. Can you put your stuff online? Can you put it under, under a license? that will allow us to share it and to uh, allow people to use it. Um, so we are working on this uh, web service, which I think at the moment is not accessible because it's still a work in progress. But um, the idea is that you go uh, through a navigation menu, you choose your data set, and you can find um, the, the data that's there uh, visualized on a map combined either with OpenStreetMap or um, even Google. But we are producing only the red uh, parts of that. So the one example was from Tyrol. This is uh, Styria. If you go closer, you see that uh, we look at data on the granularity of communities. Um, the data sets uh, come as CSV files, also as um, 
at some other in other data formats, but f for us it was the easiest to use CSV files. This is an example of what we get, um, and I want to say this is a good example because <laughs> it contains um, more or less official um, terms, which is N U T uh, nuts code and also allow code, LAU2 code, um, which is pretty standard and we can work with that. There are uh, other data sets um, that have a label called Bezirk, which is a, a district, and it's a number. It's a um, number just with one, two, three, four, five, so we have to um, make some correlation with the real community so that we can put it on a map. Uh, the other problem is that the data sets um, are some of the data is not encoded correctly. Uh, we have to deal with umlaut and stuff like that. Um, the biggest problem at the moment was that there was no official release of communities and of Austrian border data. Um, there is an official place where you can um, access or buy that data, which is uh, Statistic Austria. Um, but even if you buy a data set in a high resolution, you're still not allowed to publish it and to give it away. So uh, we had to, to find a solution for that. Then since I'm a newbie to geo-information systems, I really had to learn everything from NUTS codes to LAU codes, their equivalents in OpenStreetMap. Um, then in Austria, there's also a, specially, uh, a special case, which is Vienna, uh, which is different because Vienna uh, is labeled under one uh, law code, but it has almost two million um, people living there. So the granularity is totally messed if you want to compare a community with Vienna. So in Vienna, uh, there is a community code, with, which I think is special for Austria. Um, that's, uh, that labels or that um, stands for the districts, the city districts of Vienna. Um, yes, we, uh, we filtered from OpenStreetMap all the communities and federal states. And from the cities, we got um, two maps from Linz and from Vienna and we had to deal with conversions since they are in different projection coordinates. And then uh, we were so proud when we had our first map, but the problem was there were still holes in it. And that's that the reason for that was that um, the relations in OpenStreetMaps were not always correct, so we tried to fix that. And um, we used, uh, yes, basically we used these OSM relations. Um, we also committed some of the fixes, uh, but I saw that people already fixed our fixes, so probably we we're doing something wrong. <laughs> At least we got uh, something to show on the map. Um, then there is another problem in Austria that in the year 2013, um, three districts were combined so that they, um, six districts were combined so that they formed three new districts, so the borders changed. Um, we also had to find a solution to deal with that. And there are also uh, joins or, uh, of, of communities. So the problem with the OpenStreetMap data for us is that it's too current. We actually would like to have a good uh, data set of 2012, but we are recreating uh, the data set of 2012 at the moment. Um, so let me talk a little bit about um, the, the specs. We're parsing the original CSV files into a Postgres database. Um, as you saw before, a lot of hand, a lot of manual work has to be done. We have to look at every single uh, data set, try to understand what it means. Um, my hope is that in the future, if we have uh, new releases of the same data sets, like from 2013 or 2014, our parsers will still work, <laughs> and we can just uh, run them again with new data. Um, not sure about that. Um, we yes, we have uh, data sets for every year, 
for example, 2012, 2013, and we are combining them in Postgres into views so that they are accessible for um, for the renderers and also for for developers. We are working on a developer API so that all the data uh, is available through um, some uh, JSON format, which is not uh, possible at the moment because uh, you can only grab the CSV files from this data uh, GV portal, but not um, the data itself. And our plan is to have a web service where all the data is visualized for uh, people that's just uh, who are just interested in in um, an overview, but on the same side uh, have a developer API where you can adjust uh, the the data and the styles of how you want to render. Uh, your your data uh, on an individual basis. Uh, we are also we also learned that uh, with some data sets it doesn't make sense to just publish them. So you need background information, and we also want to give uh, the people uh, the possibility to write feedback or to write comments on what the data actually means, uh, what uh, might be uh, notable about the the data. Uh, we are running on our school infrastructure, so um, we will see if, <laughs> if this will still be enough when more people will access the service. Um, that's an Ubuntu system with PostGIS database and, and Mapnik. And then also for a newbie to, um, to geo-information renderers, um, we, it was difficult for us to choose which technolo technology we really should use. Um, we have the University of Salzburg, uh, who has a big um, GIS department. They are using GeoServer, but uh, we thought we would go with Mapnik and also Windshop because uh, it might look better. Um, <laughs> please help us improve this stack if you, if you have ideas for it. Um, yeah, we promised to be online by September 2013. Obviously, this is not the case. Uh, we will extend the first release by probably two months. We're still parsing and uploading data. Um, since ev we have to look at every data set, and there are a couple of hundreds right now, this takes some time. Um, but as long as we're funded, we can do that work, and I think uh, it will help. Public. Um, we are also trying to find funding for the upcoming years. That's um, clear. We have to. We want to maintain the service. Um, we want to publish information on a yearly basis because that's um, how data sets are actually released, or a lot of them are released on an annually um, basis. Um, we also have problems with the naming of all the all the data uh, columns. Um, you can think of data uh, of, of live births that uh, will give you a clue for a column how many children are born in a, commu a community or in a com uh, community or in a district. But then there are also uh, things like um, children per 100 working people. And I wonder if there's a thesaurus or some standard um, demographic um, term uh, terminology that we can use, um, and if not, then we are trying to t to suggest one also to our um, administration to be uh, more con consistent in naming their their data. Um, yeah, we also would like uh, we are already in um, contact with the local authorities to uh, work on that naming scheme and also uh, to work on a process how. Uh, they sh could publish their data in a machine readable format so that um, that we can grab it e more easily than just parsing uh, CSV files. Okay, that was it already. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. to get out of it. This was basically a big post 
post GIS database full of the data and you actually did that now. So uh, obviously my question will be, will there be a database uh, uh, copy that you will share with the community? Not just an API, I just want the dump of the database. Yes. Yes. Um, you can always have a dump of the database. Uh, maybe we will have an API that has one button that says download everything, or um, you can contact us and grab it and get a dump of it. And when will it go online now? Um, when should it I look on the website? <laughs> look in October, yeah. but the whole data will probably not be there until end of November or maybe December. But thank you very much. It's uh, no, I don't know the abbreviation. It's uh, it's an international um, standard to to label administrative borders. So the L A uh, it starts with NUTS and U T S, which is um, a state, for example. And then if you're going down. Uh, the administrative levels, at some point you are at the LAU codes, and in Austria this is a community, Gemeinde, which is approximately between, I don't know, 1,000 and 10,000 people living in, in such a community. In Austria we have different words for that, which is Gemeindekennzahlen and Gemeindecode, which are two different 